It says, this is Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me. What the Heavenly Father will reveal unto Habakkuk. Because this is what this is what Habakkuk is trying to find out. He's trying to get answers. So he's standing up on his watch, which is a tower, and he's looking over, trying to get the watching over the flock, so to speak, and trying to get the understanding of what he's supposed to let the flock know. Go ahead. It says, what he will say unto me. Who is the he? The Most High and his son. Y'all about to now shot. Go ahead. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. Uh-huh. When, when I am reproved, being correct, being told the heavenly father's plan. Okay? Go ahead. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon table. Write the vision and make it plain. So the heavenly father is giving him the vision so the flock can understand the vision and make it plain to him. Okay, so they when they read it, they can understand what his plan is, what the heavenly Father plan is. Go ahead. Write the vision and make it plain upon tables mm -hmm. that they may run that read it. The tables is the Bible. You see. So basically, so basically, in a nutshell, to be able to break it down through the power of the Most High and His Son to let Israel know the Most High plan. You see. Because cause this, cause this Bible is full of prophecies that got to be fulfilled in order for the nation of Israel to get delivered up out of these conditions that they're in. Uh, verse 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And that's what you see right now. That's what you see on the web. You see brothers breaking down these scriptures and, and explaining to you what's coming before the Lord who you ignorant called Jesus, making his debut. You see? So that's what we doing out here. We teaching. We telling our people. We warning our people. We letting them know the visions according to the Bible, what the Heavenly Father gave to Habakkuk and the rest of the prophets. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. It's yet for an appointed time, and that appointed time came in 1970 with, with uh, Abba Bibbins. And that's when it sprung off. That's when, the, that's when the fire came into the world, meaning the world of Israel. Okay? The fire is the word. Go ahead. Okay. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. This is the end, man. Right? This is it, man. This is it. The book is wide open, man. And you see these prophecies taking place, the ones who can see it, man. The ones who is given to the understanding and got that spiritual ear and that spiritual eye of understanding who can see it, man. The uh -huh. rest of these people, they, they, they lost in time. They don't know what's going on. Uh -huh. Just like in uh, 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 Kansas City, what is it? Uh -huh. In some parts of Kansas City, in the lake, the whole lake turned red. Mm. What they doing happened? Those are signs, man. Those are signs of the plagues, man. You see? Right there in Kansas City, man. The lake turned red, man. Edom might come outside taking, taking pictures. He said it didn't smell of nothing. He said it just turned red. You know? Go ahead. It says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Though it delay, wait for it. Even though it seem like it ain't coming fast enough, hey, wait for it, because it's going to happen. You see? That's why we go through here and search out these scriptures. And when we search them out, we see that the most out of the sun. put them up so you can understand it. You see? So we out here telling you, look, wait for it. It's coming. So be patient and stay humble. It's coming. You know? It says, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. You, you can see what's going on over there and how uh, the Most High is uh, 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 waking up to Russia, which is the burr. Which when you look up the word burr, it means a great defense. A burr got a great defense. So that's what Russia doing. They playing their part. And eventually, they're going to light America up, man. And the rest of them European, European 
nations, man. They all gonna come against America, man. Because okay. America is a piece of shit. That's all they know how to do is rape, rob, and murder, man. And then you got, then you, which they are Edomites, that's their, that's their track record. That's why I say, man, they really ain't got no, they really ain't got no history, but, but of, of great people. They got history of rape, robbery, and murder and being defiled. But as far as being a great people, a great nation of people, no, nah, they ain't got no great history, man. That's all they know how to do is steal other people's history and, 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 and say that they came up with it. You know? But back to what I was saying about even though the Russians are Edomites, now, according to the prophecy, them Edomites uh, were going to live by the sword which are the so-called white people gonna live by the sword, and them Russians are, are Edomites too. So you got Edomites fighting amongst Edomites to uh, to get the resources, which was a blessing that was given to them on the, uh, uh, by Isaac, by the Most High and his son, on the left-hand side. Cause that's what you do when you uh, live by the sword. That's on the left-hand side. Okay. You see, and that's why, the, and that's and that's how the Most High work. He'll feed you with the left-hand side uh, uh, if you wicked. You see? And that's and that's what you see in this earth. Nothing but wickedness. Come. This is Isaiah 19 and 2. Uh -huh. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Now when you read that, you'll say, oh no, that's talking about the ancient Egyptians. No, that's talking America is the modern day Egypt. Esau is the modern day Pharaoh. And when you get that, go to go to uh, uh Romans 9. Yeah, Esau is the modern day Pharaoh. So you're gonna have Edomites fighting amongst Edomites. That's part of that, that's part of that. This is the beginning, this the beginning of that race war. This the beginning of it. You're gonna have, you're gonna have, you're gonna have Edomites fighting amongst Edomites. Trying to uphold this society and trying to and trying to make it. God. You see? This this nation, this nation. Uh, 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 of Edomite are divided, man. You can see it. Okay. You know? It says, and I will set Egyptians against the Egyptians, uh -huh. and they shall fight one another, one against his brother. That's right, one against his brother. So that's what you see, Esau fighting amongst Esau. That's what you see. And it tells you in Revelation chapter 11, verse 8, this is spiritually Egypt. You got the pyramid on the back of the dollar, dollar bill, and you got a big fat pyramid up in Memphis, two hours away from here, which we in Arkansas. And Memphis was the capital in Egypt. So it's all playing out. These scriptures are spiritual, man. And like I was telling this guy right there, uh, if his line uh, go back to, uh, to uh, Moab, then he in trouble. Because get what most I say about Moab. Give me a, uh, hold that right, where you at, Isaiah? Yeah. Oh, jump to uh, 25 and uh, 10. Okay. Look what the most I say about Moab. You think them Chinese gonna rule? It's a wrap, man. It's a wrap, man. Isaiah 25 and 10. For in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord Yahweh rest, and Moab shall be trodden down under him, even as straw is trodden down for the dome hill. See that? So the most I gonna basically send his son to smash the Moabites, man, which is the Chinese, man. Right. And the mountain represented government. So you think the Chinese gonna rule? Uh -uh. You don't know the prophecy, you don't know the scripture. Okay. Read that again. This is uh, Isaiah 25 and 10. For in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord Yahweh rest, and Moab shall be trodden down under him, even as straw is trodden down for the dung hill. Yeah, give me Isaiah 16 and 6. Isaiah 16, verse 6. We have heard the pride of Moab. See, we have heard the pride of Moab. They make commercials and talk about, look, we gonna run America. <laughs> America gonna be destroyed and you, you, you are Chinese going into captivity up under the Negro Latino of the day of America. God. And we laughing like that because we happy that the Most High gonna finally light you fuckers up. You see? Because we, we know through our history, you, you had us in captivity too. You Moabite. 
Which are you Chinese? Go ahead. We have heard the pride of Moab. He is very proud, even of his haughtiness and his pride and his wrath. But his lies shall not be so. <laughs> so you think you're going to run America? You think uh, just because your system, your, your system and your way of life is based on economics, you think you're going to come out over top and you were born now let go, the most high going to turn that, turn your fucking empire into a fucking dunghill. Okay. Which means your mountain means your government. You're going to turn it into a dunghill and you, and you Chinese, you Chinese slash Moabites because that's your biblical nationality which you don't know, you lost it, but we telling you now, you going into captivity. Up under the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the elect out of them. So all we don't give two shits about how the elites have, have uh, 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 help uh, 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 them Chinese strengthen their uh, uh, way of life and, and strengthen them in economics. You don't get two shits about that because the elite going into captivity and you all you got them uh, uh, Chinese going into captivity. This is Jeremiah 48, 48 and 26. It says, oh, wait a minute, go back to 45. Like, it says the horn of Moab is cut off and his arm is broken, said the Lord Yahweh. His arm meaning his power, his military might, okay? It says, make ye him drunken, for he magnified himself against the Lord Yahweh. Yep. Moab also shall wallow in his vomit, mm -hmm. and he also shall be in derision. Yep. For, for was not Israel a derision unto thee? Yep. Was he found among thieves? Mm -hmm. For since thou spakest of him, thou skippest for joy. Yeah, y'all happy we in this condition. Y'all happy that we we have served in slavery. And you and you and you uh, Chinese have got rich off of America. Yeah. Off of us in slavery. You see? It says, Oh, ye that dwell in Moab, leave the cities <laughs> and dwell in the rock. But that's what they gonna do. the dove that make that maketh his nest in the sides of the hole's mouth. Yeah, that's right. You're going to try to go in them bunkers, man. You're going to try to go in them bunkers, them elites. going to try to go in them bunkers and hide. But we're going to get all you fuckers, man, by the power of your hard wash and our shot, man. Kind, kind. You ain't going to get away, man. The Lord already know what you're going to try to do. He already know what you're going to try to do. But you're not going to get away, man. He says... It says, we have heard the pride of Moab. He is exceedingly proud. Gun. His loftiness and his arrogance and his pride and his haughtiness of his heart. Mm -hmm. I know his wrath, said the Lord Yahweh, mm -hmm. but it shall not be so. His lies shall not so affect him. Yeah, that's right. You thinking you gonna rule? You thinking you gonna rule? You, you thinking you the next superpower? That ain't gonna happen. All that gold you got over there, you gonna come up off of God. Therefore will I howl for Moab, and will I cry out all Moab, my heart shall mourn for the men of Perhiris. Yeah, so it's going to happen to you, man. It's according, it's according to prophecy. Oh, okay, verse 33. A joy and gladness is taken from the plentiful field and from the land of Moab. Yeah, all the natural resources that y'all got. Economic collapse when the when the elites uh, uh, bring try to bring forth their new world order. You think you're gonna survive with those natural resources? No, oh, man. And I have caused the wine to fail from the wine presses. None shall tread with shouting. Their shouting shall be no more shouting. Yeah. No more shouting. Living it up, man. Having party and living.